A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So, <laughs> we are going to be facing the day 35 horde and we're not really that prepared. Um, I need to go and actually mine a ton in the desert and get just way more whale shale for way more gas, way more molotovs. But at the moment we only have 20 so we'll have to make do with that. As you guys know, we are on warrior difficulty, 60 minute days, which means the Horde Knight's 15 minutes long. We also have Aramis's modlet installed, which in, instead of having a max of 64, now we have a max of 96 enemies. The nightmare speed, uh, yeah, we'll drop on death backpack, multiplayer, our explosives can kill us, and max spawn 80 zombies. The max spawn technically I need to up. Uh, we already have so many zombies though, it's going to cause a lot of lag. Basically because the max spawn is 80, but the Horde Knight can hold 96. So if we want all 96, we have to up the max zombies allowed. Um, I'll show you guys what I've been doing. Actually, um, I went and made myself another pistol. So that when our current pistol gets close to breaking, we can just swap out without having to worry about breaking it. Otherwise, we lose another mod. I've lost so many mods already. Um, and then also I have made some new armor, which I quickly actually need to go and equip. Because all of the armor that we're wearing is so degraded. And to repair them, we're just gonna, it's going to lose too much value. At the moment, we can make 501 or something armor. So yeah, our armor is now... It's still padded, because I like the light armor. But 501, that's a huge, huge, huge difference. I also went and put two lights up top over there, two torches, so we can hopefully see the enemies better. I just realized my bike's in the way. But yeah, basically, I put two torches over there so we can see the enemies better. Um, let's just hope they don't destroy my bike right now. Damn, I should have moved this way, 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 way sooner, but I forgot about it. Yeah, but just park this right there. I'll show you guys from this side. We already replaced this. I needed to do a little bit more repairs, but I didn't. Okay, so we have two torches over here. We have this that knocks him down. Whoops, don't fall. We have another torch over here, which is probably going to get destroyed. And yeah, let's see how this Horde Knight's going to unfold. I also noticed uh, our bow skill is at 60. So the first point we get right now when we level up needs to be into this so we can make a compound bow. If we can make a compound bow, we can finally progress a little bit further. I want to test though, you know those uh, class quests where you have to kill a certain amount of zombies with a bow? Where if you kill them with fire or bleed them out and you swap to the weapon, it actually counts with that weapon. I want to see if it helps with this machine gun over here. There's currently our machine gun skill. Uh, automatic rifles 29. To make the next one, which is going to be a tactical assault, it needs to be 40. That is 40, right? Yeah. So basically, I'm going to see if the 29 goes up. If we don't use this and only use fire for now, whether that 29 goes up or not. Also, just really want to do this. Modify. Just really put on all the other armors because I want to make sure if we get hit, we can actually tank the hit. Oh, we don't even have the impact bracing mod on. Are you kidding me right now? No wonder we can uh, sprain our legs so easily. I think we might actually have more mods over here. Yes, there you go. I need to remember as well in the morning to come and check over here because now most of our armors can actually accept more things. Uh, all the way, wait, wait, wait. Because we're using padded armor, we can't put these on. It has to be military and up. They're already basically not making any noise. That's why the zombies won't go for them. Okay, um, are the pa uh, zombies parting properly? <gasps> Holy crap. Look at all the zombies over there. Okay, I want to do this. It was 29, right? Swap to this. I'm gonna see if that actually affects it at all or not. Uh, machine guns. Still 29. I don't know if we should post to kill more zombies with it. I'm just gonna keep it on this gun every now and then in between. So if it does count, it's gonna count. Oh, look at all the zombies. Making it 96 really makes a difference. I need to also go and adjust this over here. It's too small. I wanna take the railings out so I can stop banging on the railings. And then I need to path correctly. I also need to make sure they don't go for the pillars over there. Basically, this is 11 blocks long, and that's more than 11 blocks over there, and they are super far away. So technically, they shouldn't aggro on me. But you know, sometimes the zombies have, the, have a mind of their own. I want to save some of the Molotovs, though. I don't want to waste them right now. Unfortunately, we don't have a silencer for this gun, so it's going to make a lot of noise. They're still coming from behind. We have to be careful of cops. See, if we get a boss right now, we don't have a gun to deal with a boss. Unfortunately, we don't have a rad remover because I only had one and a broken a weapon. 
What we do need to try and do is see if we can't do some of those infesteds, tier 2 infested clears. The ones with the insane amount of radiators. Because apparently you get quite a bit of like anti-rad mods and stuff as rewards for doing those quests. I definitely have to focus on getting more, for, uh, not forged iron. Well, yeah, forged iron as well, but nitrate and coal and stuff. Yeah, we'll see if we can't make ourselves a ton of explosives. We have 17 Molotovs we can, which we can sparingly use. As long as I just throw it right there in the corner, it's gonna give us a nice amount of XP. Why are you just jumping up and down over there? I really wanna face hordes in this view. You press F7 once, and then you can still open up your inventory for like healing and stuff. Press it another time and you're screwed. But the problem is you can't see your, uh, your active HP. So it might be a lot lower than you think it is. So we'll rather just do this. That's a lot of zombies right there. I'm really hoping that does count towards the death for this gun. Since it counts for the quests, like kill quests with a bow, it should count as well just for the weapon itself. The action you should skill. I mean, it might, it might not, we'll see. Oh, I need to probably save this ammo. We can shoot with a pistol, and we have to save this ammo for the cops. I think there's going to be a crap ton of cops showing up later. Seriously? She has no fire starting inside my base. Woo, that's a lot of zombies right now. That's definitely 96 zombies right there. So I could easily stand over there and shoot them in the face as they're coming closer. But if a cop sees me, or if a vulture or a spider pushes me down, we're screwed. Although now that we finally have this on our boots, we should be able to tank the fall. What if I shouldn't just scrap these back down? I could keep I could repair them and keep them for the for the purple ones. It requires cloth armor repair kits. Oh wow, look at that dude. Yep, there's already cops, I think. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. It's just a biker. Damn, that dude's fast. I'm so tempted to just shoot over here. See, we need to get the shotgun up. So I want to get close enough for the shotgun so we can actually use it. Also, I've noticed this is ready. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that started just now? See, if there's, if there's too many zombies alive, it causes way too much lag. And it shouldn't be lagging because this base is really nicely designed. I want to save the Molotovs. I'm really desperate to use the Molotovs, uh, or the explosive, I mean. But I think just before morning, it's going to be perfect to use it. And this gun, I should save in case a boss shows up, or a cop shows up. Although, if a boss shows up, a boss can't be killed. We need an anti-rad mod to just consider killing one. Hello? I was about to say, where's the vulture? I see it. But I don't see it. Oh, I should probably kill the vulture with the shotgun. Okay, I need to make a hole of here so I can throw molotovs and stuff through. Instead of standing over here, because if I stand over here and a spider jumps at me, we're screwed. I'm almost falling off. I can feel I'm sliding off of here. Okay, I want to make sure. Action uses kill. It seems you have to actually use the weapon to get this up. Just with a little bit of shooting, we have it at 30. It needs to be at 40. I'm going to use up all the ammo and hopefully there's no boss showing up. Man, that's a lot of zombies right there. Oh, crap. Whew, it's a good thing I'd have the water on me. That would have sucked if I didn't have the water on me just now. <laughs> Look at all those zombies. I need to basically feel like I'm falling out the window before I throw it. Technically, I should only shoot down there. And up there. So I don't shoot my own wall. I need to uh, play see-through blocks over there so I don't have to shoot the wall itself. 
See, if it isn't for the vultures, we can just go and stand there. Where? I don't see you, man. Where are you? It's over here somewhere, but I can't see it. It's stuck somewhere, I think. It's bizarre. I can't even see the vulture. It's probably going to pop up in front of me when I'm least expecting it. There's a lot of radiance over here, so in the morning it's going to be a pain to kill. So it might be a good thing that I'm actually saving my explosives. Oh, there you are. See, unfortunately, the, even the blue ones heal slightly, slowly. But the radiated one especially, how am I going to kill those? It's going to get to a point where I have to run away after a horde night just to make sure we survive. Oh! Okay, that's perfect. Use those for the vultures. It doesn't seem like there's any cops, so I might be able to stand a little bit closer. If I can just break this gun, it's fine if I break it, but if I can just break it, it's going to help us. If there's another vulture, I'll try and see if I can't use my AK or my pistol or something. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I need to stand far enough back so they can fall down easier. See, my problem right now is to be vultures and spiders pushing me off. And also, if I see they jump over, if I'm standing over there, they're leaning more to the slanted side so they fall down easier. But since I'm standing here, they're more likely to jump over now, especially if they buy their screens like this dude. Oh, crap. Run, 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 run. That's a lot of zombies. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. I'm going to struggle catching that. Oh, that was close. I need to make sure that I'm actually able to get up there easily. See, they can stand on the friends. If I actually had a pump shotgun, I could stand further back with like a barrel extender or something. This is so thin that not only the zombies fall off, but even me. Probably use this one that's close to breaking first. I need to make sure that it doesn't break. Get it close to breaking, but don't break it. Oh, that's a lot of zombies right there. I wonder if I can actually shoot from over and do damage if it's too far away. Oh, you actually scared the crap out of me. Oh, you almost hit my legs just now. I need to be careful of that. See, I need to get closer, but the moment I get closer, there's a chance of me actually getting hit by them. At least there's so far no cops and stuff, so I should be able to do this a little bit easier. It's okay if this gun breaks because we can't repair it anyways. I need to aim lower because of the double tap. Cap. Oh, what a pretty sight. What a pretty, pretty, pretty sight. Oh, I need to extend that, extend that ladder as soon as possible. I keep saying it, but I'm not doing it, and it's going to cost me later. I thought the biker was a boss just now. He looked tall, but he was standing on the fence. It's almost morning. I have to go to the desert as soon as possible and just mine a ton of oil shale. If I can literally just constantly spam them with some Molotovs during Horde Night, that's going to help us gain some XP. First pop. Damn it, now we're out of ammo. I think this one actually put in a barrel extender. I try and make sure that I kill the cops first because they can do some serious damage. I mean, if they explode, they take the friends with, that, uh, with them, which is awesome. But at the same time, it's bad for us because we don't get the XP. Nice. Probably do this. Damn, that's a lot of zombies. A lot of tough zombies. It's almost morning. I really want to use this gun. 
Now I can't stand closer because of the cops. This thing has a barrel extender on, so I should be able to reach over there. I need to kill him before he explodes. At least we're getting our pistols up this way. But I really hope to get my machine gun up a little bit further as well. Okay. Ooh, we leveled four times. Oh, holy crap. What was that? Um, That must have been a vulture that's vomited or a cop that vomited. So we have to be careful that all boxes don't burn over here. So we have to check whether there's fire on the outside. If there's fire on the outside, we know. Oh, crap. Okay, so yeah. First things first. We're going to go for... Um... I can't believe my pack mule's maxed out. But to get the rest over here unlocked... Well, it's now nighttime. That's why it's unlocked. Um, during the daytime, we'll see how many is still locked. We have to get across the special backpack, I think. Don't do that. That scares the crap out of me every time that happens. Basically, yeah, yeah let's just click do this. We're going to go under this. We're going to go for... We already have iron tools. Wood cutting's not the far. Salvage operation. We have to uh, range as many vehicles as possible as well. If we can get this to 60... Look at that. It requires level 60, so it goes past 40. We have to wrench, even if we break wrenches, br uh, wrench, 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 take some coffees, and then hopefully get this to 60 so we can get the ratchet. The moment we have the ratchet, we can uh, make ourselves better vehicles. Okay, anyways, let's see. Blades, almost 60. That's nice. First weapons, bows. Definitely gonna get this one. Okay, so we're gonna start by burning the top ones. Oh, they're doing quite a bit of damage over there. Look at that. We're gonna start by burning the bottom ones. Just do this in case, and then right before nighttime, we have to throw all. Just before four o'clock, we have to throw the the grenade. I'll definitely perhaps have to make an oh demo. No, 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 no. That's really bad. There's another demo. Why are we getting so many demos all of a sudden? Okay, I need to make more Molotovs then. Oh no, 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 no! It just takes one zombie to hit the demo, and then the whole base goes. Hopefully we don't accidentally set off the button. Be oh, that was a lot of lag just now. It's either another wandering horde or something also coming in, but damn, that was a lot of lag. Whoa! Whoa, I just saw that in time. That was way too close. Come on, one more, one more, one more. You have to burn them, man. Burn them. There are so many radiators now. See, I could easily throw the explosive, but it's going to set off the demo. Now, I don't have any more of this ammo left, so I'm going to have to try and shoot the demo in the back. The problem is I can't see which is the back, which is the front when he's climbing the ladder. He's going to make a hole. No, 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 no. Ooh, he died. If he exploded just now, he would have uh, made a metal, uh, would have made a hole over there. If that, it just takes that demo to explode and takes the whole wall with him. I want to do that so the demo falls into the fire. Oh, that took out most of it. Now the problem is going to be the bloody demo. And look how fast he is. He's feral. Or at least he's feral speed. I have to go for the legs, because if I go for the head and he turns around, I accidentally set him off. Uh, this gun... I didn't even get this one close to breaking, because I wasn't focused on that. I'm going to get a screamer right now. I'm going to have to drive away, get away from this uh, area of here. Okay, just before he falls, because I don't want to accidentally hit his button. So we do this. And then when he falls, he falls into the fire. Come on. There you go, on fire. The only way to really truly kill a demo safely is either to do damage per second or just use Molotovs. Oh, imagine I just realized my recording wasn't recording after all of this. That would be horrible. Okay, so we should be safe doing this right now. Need to be careful. Oh. Uh, we'll drink the coffee. I think we had another drink on us as well, but now we can't do that. I must have slow. 
I'm moving really, really slow right now. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. So I need to make myself some duct tape. The glue should be done. Make two duct tape. And the moment the duct tape's done, we can make ourselves a compound bow. Finally. I think it's a compound crossbow, though. Not a compound... I'm hoping it's not a compound bow, and it's actually the crossbow. Compound. Compound. It is the bow, damn it. Uh, what do we need still? Oh, there's a second page. Three twine. I keep forgetting that in Ravenous, there's that second page. Hopefully this... Yeah, there's no quest for crafting it, so we should be able to just leave it over here. There's no quest that says, okay, make... It just says kill any zombie using a compound bow. So now we're going to have to put away all of our bolts. So we won't be able to use this one anymore. And we won't be able to use our bolt anymore. We are now going to have to swap to arrows again. We have one Molotov left. Let's just see what we need to burn. Okay, yeah. Uh, we should be good to go. Shotgun skill has gone up slightly. The demo seems to be dead. That is just to make sure that they go down faster. Because remember, we don't have the anti-rad mod, so they heal. But if we do this, just do constant damage. They took out the stairs over there, damn. Oh, there's still a demo over here. I thought he's dead. I need to kill them before they heal again, so I'll have to do some damage per second. This gun's about to break. Reload, 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 reload! Okay, I want to make sure we get all of the kills over here. We have to be careful though because we're definitely going to be calling in a screamer, but we have to get these kills up. I'll have to repair my pistol as well. Crap. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, they destroyed the ladders like crazy. We're going to have to make the ladders at least uh, concrete next time to be able to hold. They were definitely not concrete this time. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Please give me some awesome loot right now. After all the ammo we spent, there has to be something good over here. If we can get like a ratchet or something, imagine. But I think it's game stage probably locked. Oh, that was a vehicle book. We need workstation books. Hello, lady. If I can get the workbench books and get those T8 storages, that is going to be a game changer. Because finally we'll be able to have enough space for loot so we don't have to worry about space anymore. And then we just have to focus on getting better gear, better guns. There has to be another gun other than a lever action rifle that can actually shoot the 5.56 ammo. I refuse to uh, believe it's only the lever action. Okay, there's no other loot bags over here, unfortunately, which means that was it. Okay, so yeah, this base held really well. It's just over there, the ladder that takes a punishment. So we have to make more ladders and we have to actually go and... I don't know how I'm going to fix that over there. So basically, more ladders over here uh, and also make them all upgraded to concrete. That should do the trick. I'll also have to reduce the max number of zombies alive again. Because like I said, just now during Horde Night when all of them were spawning, it's just way too much lag, unfortunately. Oh, the shotgun's about to break. This is about to break. Technically, all you now need to do is go and do this. You repair this one. You modify this to take these off. Unlike Darkest Falls, you can't have stuff still on there when you combine them. Or repair them. You do that. You do this. And pistol over here. Boom. 
248, not a bad quality. You have to be careful now because this gun is actually about to break. I'm going to put the shotgun away for now until we really need to use that again. Uh, when, when we run out of, like, say, for example, pistol ammo, we'll come back for that one. So for now, though, I need to do this. Modify. Since it's purple, it can hold two slots as well. A color just above this can actually hold more. Do we have that string mod? No. I mean, that would have been perfect just now. That or the one that breaks them slowly. That's the one we need right now for the bow. Basically this. Structural brace mod. That will also work right now. Okay, so these are mine. The foods are busy spoiling over here, unfortunately. Really, really fast. Oh, I had a drink on me that also spoiled. I never drank it. Okay, let me just quickly make some space over here. So basically, we're going to go crowbar, wrench, shovel, pickaxe, fire axe, then the bow, pistol, and this one. Okay. Uh, for the pistol, I wonder if I should instead of this. Let's see. 22 shots compared to... I think 15, right? I think the barrel extender is going to help us more because basically it allows us to shoot further and also do more damage. Increases damage, range, and aimed accuracy, but makes the weapon more unwieldy when fired from the hip. So as long as you aim down the sight, now you only have 15 shots instead of 22, but it does more damage. So as long as you make your, uh, your shots count, that's all that matters right now. Scrap axe, this one is better than this one. Food, we'll eat that. And then, yeah. With the wrench, like I said, we have to actually go and just use up all our wrenches. Let all of these just break as we use them. And then, yeah, just wrench as many vehicles as possible. But we're going to have to take some coffee. Like an insane amount of coffee just to be able to do that. I just have to put the rest of the stuff away because we have so much to put away. I'm going to go to the trader and see if I already... Yeah, I think I already accepted another quest. But I want to see if we can't do those infested clears as well. Every farms, where's that? I think let's really go do that quest as well. And then we can call an episode after doing the quest. Let's make sure I'm also constantly eating and drinking over here. Ooh, it just had to be... Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, Um. yeah, it just had to be this POI. And now it just had to be a wandering horde. I know there's going to be a ton of ferals inside. Yeah, he's also feral. I'm going to see if I can't take them out this time because I need some XP. You need to be careful though because at the moment, uh, yeah, the, these guys are strong. Okay, so finally I was able to take out a feral zombie. <laughs> but that whole horde is basically feral. That's why I need to snipe it from a distance. Okay, I want to make sure we skin these animals as well. Let's put that away. Put that there. We can easily bleed the ferals and then uh, hit them with like a crossbow or something, but it's not going to work the same. It's a shame I didn't bring any molotovs with me. They're perfectly aligned as well, so as long as I climb on the fence over there, we should be fine. Oh crap, another feral coming in. And the moment I shoot, we're screwed. We'll shoot from over here. We shouldn't attract any attention. The wandering horde's gonna start disappearing on us, and I need the XP. There's way too many zombies alive over here. Damn. This is even part of the horde. This is just random zombies. Make sure there's no feral zombies charging me from behind, because it seems like the wandering horde is slightly. Leaning towards our side. I mean, we need the XP as well. We have more points to spend. I, I think I only spent in the crossbow, right? In the bow skill. So we still have three points to spend, which we need to decide where to spend. But, but I don't know if I should probably just save it. We might be able to use it on something else. Something more important. If he comes to me, that's awesome. Is he feral? No. 
Well, he might actually be feral. We have to be careful. Yep. Hello. Like I said, it seems the Wandering Horde is moving towards our side, so we have to be careful. But most of them, for some reason, yeah, they're turning their backs on us, so they were moving towards the base. Come on, I just, I keep hitting the tree. This thing's so powerful, you mustn't lead the shot too much. Oh, crap. Crap. I'm gonna have to shoot him. Why did you have to reload? What a bad time to reload. Okay, those are ferals as well. Be careful. See, we are at a radiator of this dude during Horde Night, and that's rare. To be careful, like, yeah, okay, she's inside over there. See, all of these zombies are feral. They sensed me, and now... Okay, the ferals all ran that way because I shot the gun that side. So any zombies left over here should be normal. Although I have a feeling like they're turning back right now as well. Hello, are you feral? Yep, you're feral. Okay, she was not part of the Wandering Horde, I think. She was just a random zombie from inside. Or she might have been part of the Wandering Horde that got stuck inside. Crap. She literally lifted me off the ground just now. See, technically you don't have to do the kills with the bow itself. But if I do the kills with a bow, at least I'll get practicing as well. Oopsie, I was about to say, you can't loot right now. But stupid me, I didn't interrupt it. I should have said, no, 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 not now, not now. Okay, that dude just aggro, but this dude is feral. At least we can get some arrows back, so it's not like we're constantly losing. But at the same time, I, my weapon's gonna degrade if I just keep shooting every single zombie I see. Yeah, but this is a super dangerous POI to actually clear. The reason I say that is there's a lot of crops that's hiding the zombies over here. I have to be so careful. The zombies just dodge a little bit, I'm screwed. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. I can't start this quest to be with ferals in the area. Although I wonder if I shouldn't just leave them there because they seem to be just standing. So hopefully they despawn after a while. This over here though might still be part of the horde. I wonder if those zombies over there are just random spawns at the back. Or if that's part of the wandering horde. Because sometimes the Wandering Horde spawns in so wide, you can't even believe it. I don't want to walk away too far though, because I want to make sure not all the zombies in the whole area see me. Okay, so I think, I think yeah, we'll have to do this quest next time now. But guys, this is also going to be super dangerous. I have to start the quest, jump on the fence, and then just try and see if I can't see them through the fence. Because the radiators are going to hide in between all of the plants over here, and that's going to be a problem. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst Insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.